5 p.m. and it is pitch black. The reason I'm starting this so late today is because I've had a very busy weekend, sorting other things out with work, seeing friends I've not seen for a long time. It's been difficult, so we're starting this as a night shift. But in this one, we're going to make a brake line that's missing from there to put into the car. We're just going to crack on with the Mini, as we always do. So what you will need for this is Kit of wonderful beautiful things we've got some brake unions a pipe cutter that is a little bit big but that was from when i worked away and they used to do massive fridge pipes that big but it does work i've tried it a brake line flaring kit doesn't have to be this brand just a cheap one a brake line bender 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 and some brake line itself so let's move on to the car first of all i would just like to highlight i have never done this before i've never made the brake line off in my life i've simply watched something of someone doing it on a different type of car and i've also asked for advice of people so if i'm doing it wrong be sure to hit a comment before we throw the engine back in and then it's impossible to reverse so let's get on with it so what we're going to do is we're going to make a piece of brake line that goes from here this this union here and we're going to bend it so it goes into here i have got these the wrong way around i need to undo that one and push it there that may be a bit long but we'll try and lose the slack somehow back that way so we need to make a short piece and then we've got the piece that needs to go to there i'm going to respray that So we're a bit cramped, you've probably never joined me in here, but this is the, the garage. Half of it is, well, used to be a recording studio, used to be in a van. When I look at sorting that out where I can do all my editing in there, but this half is like a workshop and it's just filled with stuff. But I've got a vice and that's going to make it easier. So I'm going to spin the camera down and then I'm going to talk, but you won't see me. You can now see me because I've got it rigged up. So I've got the camera here, so that is what you can see. And if you want to have a look as well, I'm talking into you, but I've actually got the camera here to video my hands. So what we need is a brew. <sighs> Lovely. So the reason why I've come in here is because we've got a vice. Let's wind the vice open. Open your flaring device screw. And in here you'll find a clamp. Now the idea of that is so you can trap it in a vice. You want to see it that way so you see which way it goes. You've got enough room to spin the wing nut still. Pipe. All we need to worry about for now is getting a union on the end. So we'll measure it afterwards so we can put the union on. So get your pipe. So you need to open it and you need to put it in the 3 16th slot there. And it wants to be about point five of a mil above so you want to take this this you want to look for the 316 little button like that and then this end wants to go down the end of the pipe then we're going to open the clamp up slide that over there wind this down then we're going to have to try and hold the pipe up as well here then we need to put a double flare on this so you need to just go over it with this now. So your flare end should look like that. So what we now need to do, I have just cut it temporarily, I'll show you how to cut it now. We need to slide the union on that way. That. I'm going to use one of these. Now this is probably too big. You can get smaller ones for about a couple of quid on eBay. Don't use a hacksaw doing this because you'll get all sharp edges and it'll ruin the brake system. Now dropping it, and you'll find that that has now been caught. It's probably a bit squished, so I'll probably do it too tight. So I'll do that again. Use a deburring tool, really, but I think it's too big. Now I won't worry about that too much. That's a bad example. But we're going to go and offer it up to the car now and see how much shorter it needs to be. So I've got these the wrong way round, so that needs to go there. But for now, we're just going to get for measuring purposes and say that the union goes flush there. Then we'll bend it, say there. I think this is the pattern it'll go. It wants to go. Should be using the bender for this. It's a bit intricate. So now we need to put the union on the other end. I'll do this one in fast mode so you don't have to watch the boringness again, but it's basically repeating the same procedure as before. So this one I've made is better. We're gonna whack that on now. So I sped that up, but that's the first one I've made. So we've both got two ends like that now. If anyone thinks I've done anything wrong, please let me know. Like I say, I've never done brake lines before. I've simply watched a video and had a go. First thing we're gonna do is undo that. I've got a feeling it's an 11 mil spanner, but I can't find it.
appreciate the bend doesn't look the best on that. I'm gonna play around with that and try and get it bent up into a bit more of a straight shape without kinking it. That's the link basically from there to there. If that looks wrong, please let me know. This may be a bit too long, so I'm gonna try and sink that home. So guys, just before we jump into mini of the week, I just want to thank everybody that sent in their videos. It means a lot. I've had a lot to pick from this week. So if your car's not featured this week, then I apologize. But it doesn't mean that it won't ever be featured because every time these videos get sent in, they go into a file and I look back at them every week. So I don't just think, right, those have been discounted. Forget about them. They'll get looked at every week and judged through whatever anybody else sends in. If you want your car featured, simply go into the description. You'll see how to do it. Have a look, have a read. Or you can go over to my website, which is Total Car reviews.com and you can send me an email via that to get in touch so let's move on now this video is from a guy called Jacob Jones and he's from the UK and he has sent me an email in in like the paragraph format he thinks that this mini is not to everyone's taste and if you're a true pure mini enthusiast you won't just think oh well it's got to be original I and mean, we keep it all looking the same doors we can't change it that's a lot of rubbish in my eyes I prefer the ingenuity that goes into these cars and people put their own touch on them it's, it's far more interesting rather than just thinking let's just build it like the production line. The idea is to build it better than the production line so it lasts a lot longer. Now you'll probably see from his car, it's red and black, but I've noticed the Perspect windows, which I do like. The Kawasaki green engine goes quite well with the red and black, which I didn't think it would. I've noticed when the camera, which you'll see, it'll pan around to the rear. There's a few little holes in the subframe and I think he's been doing a bit of weight shedding there, so correct me if I'm wrong, Jacob. He started building this car three years ago with no experience and he was just simply willing to learn, like myself, and he's done everything he can to it and he says he's actually replaced every screw nut and just become an addiction to make it look perfect i think you've done an amazing job it looks very low very wide we're about to hear it jacob's made the mistake of leaving his camera on the floor and he's having to drive off so if anybody wants a camera you'll have to try and figure out where he's videoed this just go and pick it up off, off the side of the road because he seems to have left it there so we'll move into that and you'll join me back in the garage So guys, I'm going to wrap that up there. I am sorry this was a short episode. So if I've done anything wrong, please let me know. Like I say, I'm no expert in this. I've never done it before. I'm just looking online and having a go, learning the hard way. Go easy on the comments. If you want to see more and you feel like supporting the channel, go over to GoFundMe, have a read, have a think, see what you want to do. Have a look at the previous episode, which will be a link at the end of this video. But other than that, do what you do best, which is smash that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.